video, we're going to be going over the over usage of your phone or digital devices, especially when you're substituting the real world and conversations, organic relationship with technology or your phone. It's a true addiction and I think we need to kind of dip into this subject. It affects me personally in my everyday life. Overusing your phone or digital devices can have several effects on your physical and mental health. Let's talk about it. So when it comes down to my own personal opinion on overusing telephones as a means of emotional detachment for support and communication as well, is a complete catch-22. I believe that technology is an amazing outlet when it comes to communicating with loved ones far and near. Seeing people engaged with one another online is really, really useful. But substituting any kind of phone usage uh, activity in real time as interaction is completely detrimental not only to our own mental health but to others mental health as well if we stop and ask ourselves and put ourselves in the position of somebody who is interacting with us and having an organic conversation that person decides to engage with phone and technology in substitution of actually engaging with that one-on-one. -on -one. Ask ourselves, what are we doing to our mental health by doing that? You don't really want to engage with somebody who puts technology for me as a person. Engaging in conversation and the discussion that you're having with an individual, especially somebody that you love, on hold in order to engage with your cell phone and then once you're done with whatever you have going on return back to the conversation with your in-person friend or family member or even co-worker or risk in completely damaging this person's self-esteem because whatever you have going on on your phone is more important than who you're engaging with one-on-one -on -one. especially if you're talking making points stop the conversation, check your phone, back to the conversation, that truly only proves that you are secondary to whatever's going on in the technology realm or what have you. All of the energy that you have inside of you is being used towards investing your time, thoughts, and your energy and your attention into something somebody else created for you in the realm of online. Because at the end of the day, what information we're receiving online, our mind is now absorbing that. Somebody else has concocted for you is in place of the people that you chose to have in your inner circle. Especially if you're the type of person that just jumps online and just starts scrolling. In most cases, information has been designed to lock you in and grab your attention for lengthy, lengthy, lengthy amounts of time. All of that information is more than likely useless. That's just my opinion because they design it to, you know, false news, endless, endless ads, marketing, all of that. Especially useless in comparison to organic and beautiful conversations and information you could be gaining from the people that are around you that you truly love and care about. The people that actually matter are the people that are in your vicinity and in your space. That truly is just something that you can't receive scrolling on Facebook. I'm hardcore against overusing my phone. The only time I truly do is with work or quick, quick communication with my mom <laughs> or my husband. Very, and I, I've been like this my whole life as well. Like. When I was younger, people would try to call me and talk with me on the phone. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like phones are used for information only, like quick, very important messages. Call me, hey, I'm on my way. Hey, I'm running late. Hey, what do you want from the store? Those types of information. But other than that, I really don't find a use for my phone. Also a content creator. So everything connected to the outside realm, I try to document, but 90% of my life you don't see because I'm enjoying it off camera. I enjoy my time in the digital realms filled with endless information and knowledge and beautiful souls floating around. I always decide what I'm going to watch prior to jumping online. This helps me narrow down what it is that I'm consuming, what I want to even consume. It's like when I jump on YouTube and the algorithm picks what's already available. Then you kind of just click around. 
you're choosing from what the algorithm picks for you. I decide I want to look up something to do with orchids and how you grow an orchid. I know that when I jump online, I'm choosing what I engage with. Yes, the algorithm will then kick back available videos about orchids, but I went into the digital realm deciding what I wanted to consume. It wasn't I jumped online and then consumed whatever was there. I hope that makes sense. Overusing your phone or digital devices can have several effects on your physical and mental health. Staring at screens for long periods of time can lead to digital eye strain, causing symptoms like dry eyes, headaches, and blurred vision. The blue light emitted by screens can interfere with the production of sleep hormone melatonin, making it harder to fall asleep at night. Poor posture while using devices can lead to neck and back pain, often referred to as tech neck. Excessive typing or swiping can lead to RSI, repetitive strain injury, causing pain and stiffness in hands, wrists, and arms. Increased stress or anxiety. Constant connectivity can lead to feelings of being overwhelmed or constantly pinched on contributing to stress and anxiety. Excessive phone use has been linked to an increased risk of depression, possibly due to social isolation or comparison with others on social media. Reduced tension span. The use of digital devices can lead to a shorter attention span, making it harder to focus on tasks that require sustained attention. Or cognitive function. Some studies suggest that overuse of digital devices may impact cognitive functions such as memory and attention. Social effects. Social isolation is number one social fact from overusing your phone. Excessive use of digital devices can lead to less face-to-face -face interactions, potentially leading to feelings of isolation and loneliness. Relationship strain. Overuse of devices can interfere with personal relationships as it may lead to less quality time spent with loved ones. Behavioral effects. Nomophobia, the fear of being without your phone, which can lead to anxiety or distress when separated from it. Distracted driving. Impact on productivity. Excessive use of digital devices can reduce how productive you are, as it can lead to multitasking and decreased focus. Important to practice moderation. Adopt healthy device habits, such as taking breaks. Setting limits on screen time. 
Balancing Good Ergonomics. Energy flows where attention goes. I'll never forget that. It's really important to me to hold the standard of dividing the digital realm from my personal life. While we're on the topic of the online world and information, I do wanna to touch base on putting your children online. I have two children and for the longest time, I really don't post anything to do with my children on any of my social media platforms. It's really important to me. I think it's unhealthy to a certain degree to try to achieve some sort of happiness, engagement, recognition for the pictures of your children from other people, especially people online who typically aren't the type of people that you are side by side on a daily basis. Not only the egotistical side has come to fruition, but also thinking about when they're older and reflecting back, would they be okay with that? I don't know. We don't know. You don't know what your kids are going to respond like in the future when they realize that our generation has documented their existence online without their permission. They aren't old enough to grant me that permission to place them online. Not in any kind of intellectual or reasonable way at all. But that's left up to you to decide as a parent. Are you going to put your child online without their permission and then one day go, hey, you were a cute kid? Or are you going to protect their innocence, protect their privacy, protect their personality? Just think about it, it's food for thought. Nothing can substitute quality time that I have with my family and my friends and the true beings that are sitting next to me in my daily life. I hope this helps, hope this opens your mind to you know, ki kicking yourself back into that mode of being here in the physical realm and be just stepping outside a little bit more and engaging with things, tangible things that you can hold, touch, feel, even our own skin, our own bodies. Something to think about, leave in the comments if you agree with this, if you are an over user of your phone.